Welcome back to the Summer Like the 90s series. We are gonna be learning how to play Zombie by the Cranberries. This is actually a pretty straightforward, easy song for the most part. We have four chords that repeat in a single progression throughout the entire song. Now a couple extra little notes that I'll put in there for you just to make sure it's as accurate as possible. You're gonna want your guitar tuned at the standard and just make sure it's tuned up in general. And then you won't need a capo. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into our chords and then we'll get started. Starting off our first chord is an E minor. Next we have a C major. Now we're gonna have places in the song where the C major will also swap with the C major seven. And to make a C major seven, all you do is just pull your index finger off. There you have a C major seven. And then our next chord up is going to be a G major. But we'll also have some places in the song where instead you'll play a G six. So no matter what G major shape you make, whether you make it like this or with your fingers like this, you'll just wanna pull off any bottom fingers and just leave these top two up here. And that is your G6. And then our last chord in the progression is going to be a D over F sharp. Now, if this is a little difficult for you, you can sub in a D major instead. The D over F sharp sounds a lot more accurate, but you can get away with the D major if this makes things a little easier. Okay, so as I mentioned in our chord close-ups, the progression is E minor, to C major, to G major, to D over F sharp for the entire song. Now I did mention that we can use a C major seven and a G six if we want something that sounds a little bit more accurate during the intro and the interlude. Because if you really listen, you will hear the difference between where a C major and a C major seven or a G major and a G six will appear in the song. So starting out with our intro, our progression is going to sub in that C major seven. Instead of having a C and all you do is, like I said, you just remove that first finger, C major seven. And then for your G6, just go ahead and make your G major as normal, either like this or like this, and you just remove those bottom fingers or finger. You have your G6. So this song features two strumming patterns. The more complex one is during the intro, but you only have to play it once per chord and then you're done. And you can do straight down strums for the entire song because that's all it is. So I'm just gonna do the straight E minor, C, G, D over F sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, for the sake of being more accurate here, this is a part of the song where you can use the C major seven and the G six, so it'd actually be. Just like that, and you'll be able to see during the playthrough where those swaps happen. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into our second strumming pattern, which occurs during the intro. And you just do this one time around for each chord. So we're gonna be using E minor to C major seven, to G six, to D over F sharp. Now, before we use our chords here, let's get familiar with this pattern because there's kind of a lot going on here. So in full, it's gonna sound like this. Hi, hi Kona, hi, hi. Oh, you see his little booper? <gasps> Boop. Yeah, cone. I need to teach Cone. Cone, I need to teach. He's gonna hop on the couch. There he goes. Oh, oh, you okay, Cone? Are you okay? Cone. Cone, you should just lay down. It's safer. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into the strumming pattern. Go ahead and mute your strings. We're going to go down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up for each chord. So we wanna make a flow so it's gonna go down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down. 
down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So then all together you'll have. For the entire rest of the song, except for where you have the places where you switch the different chords out, we are now ready for a playthrough since we've gone over all of the bases. So feel free to grab your guitar and strum along. So that is how you play Zombie by the Cranberries. That was the first half of the song. Just take what I gave you and plug it in to the second half. Honestly, the best way to practice with any song is to play along with the original track. So I'll go ahead and link that down below or up here in a card. Don't forget to check in on Instagram using the hashtag Gigi Summer Strumman. You can upload your practice check-ins. Just upload a video of you. Just going through the song and practicing it. Grab your guitar, check in with the community on Instagram. It is such a positive place to be. If you're looking for other people to connect with that also play guitar, that are learning how to play guitar, this is the place to go. Everyone is so uplifting and motivating and there have been so many friendships that have been made and you posting your progress or something that you're working on or something that you've learned that you're excited about is not only going to help you get feedback and encouragement on your playing, but other people seeing you posting is going to inspire and motivate them too. Really, it's just this amazing positive cycle that just goes around and I love it. It's incredible what the community has grown into, so I highly recommend if you are just needing that, if you're needing some accountability, some motivation, please check out the community on Instagram regret it. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and enjoy the series. I hope to see you there on Instagram checking in and I'll catch you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!